friends, welcome back to Yggdrasil. My name is Michelle and this is Warrior. Today I am going to be talking about the scary lamp story, which is a state of psychosis or part of the creepy and disturbing um, iceberg from Reddit and someone actually posted it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn the bell on if you're feeling risky. Comment below what you think about the situation. Um, it's really scary, but my sister actually takes. So thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out my Instagram and TikTok and enjoy. Someone posted to r slash askreddit. Have you ever felt a deep personal connection to a person you've met in a dream only to wake up feeling terrible because you realize they never existed? This person responded with, throwaway account because this is really personal. My last semester at a certain college, I was assaulted by a football player for walking while he was trying to drive. Note that he was 325 pounds and I was 120 pounds. While unconscious on the ground, I lived a different life. I met a wonderful young lady. She made my heart skip and my face red. I pursued her for months and dispatched a few jerk boyfriends before I finally won her over. After two years, we got married and almost immediately she bore me a daughter. I had a great job and my wife didn't have to work outside of the house. When my daughter was two, she, my wife, bore me a son. My son was the joy of my life. I would walk into his room every morning before I left for work and dotted on him and my daughter. One day while sitting on the couch, I noticed that the perspective of the lamp was odd, like inverted. It still had a 3D look, but it was just wrong. It was a square lamp base, red with gold trim on four legs and a white square shade. I was transfixed. I could not look away from it. I stayed up all night staring at it. The next morning, I didn't go to work. Something was just not right about that lamp. I stopped eating. I left the couch only to use the bathroom at first. Soon I stopped doing that too as I wasn't eating or drinking. I stared at that fucking lamp for three days before my wife got really worried. She had someone come by and try to talk to me. By this time, my cognizance was breaking up and my wife was freaking out. She took the kids to her mother's house just before I had my epiphany. The lamp wasn't real. The house wasn't real. My wife, my kids, none of that is real. The last 10 years of my life are not flipping real. The lamp started to grow wider and wider and deeper. It was still in inverted dimensions. It took up my entire perspective and all I could see was red. I heard voices, screams, all kinds of weird noises that I became aware of and then pain. The first words that I said were, I'm missing my teeth and I opened my eyes. I was laying on my back on the sidewalk, surrounded by people that I didn't know. Lots were freaking out and I was completely confused. At some point, some cop scooped me up, dragged or walked me across the sidewalk in grass and threw me face down in the back of a cop car. I was still confused. I was taken to the hospital by the cop. 
Seems he didn't want to wait for the ambulance to arrive and give CT scans and shit. I went through three years of horrid depression. It was grieving the loss of my wife and my children and dealing with the knowledge that they never existed. I was scared that I was going insane as I would cry myself to sleep, still hoping I would see her, my wife, in my dreams, but I never have. Sometimes I'll see my son, usually just a glimpse out of my peripheral vision. He is perpetually five years old and I can never hear what he says. I've had many PMs describing similar experiences and three posters stating such experiences are impossible. I'd say more research needs to be done in brain functions. Pre-med students don't assume you know everything. I have asked if they can write a book or screenplay or stage play or rage comic, etc. Please consider this tale if you're open to it. I think that's great that this person was interested in writing a screenplay about it because it's just so sad and it's just so amazing to have some fun with this trauma that you experienced with losing your entire family that never actually really existed. And this person spent years as if they were in some sort of coma, but it was actually just a few moments, kind of like if you're in a dream and time just is different. It goes by faster or slower, but it doesn't matter because everything is still that important to you. And just imagine if right now you woke up and you realized that everyone around you was just a, a figment of your imagination and you woke up into the real world. I can't imagine 10 years of your life that were just not real. Like I can't imagine getting married with kids, let alone my, my cat, you know what I'm saying? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn the bell on if you're feeling risky. Comment below what you think about the situation. Um, it's really scary, but my sister actually takes. So thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out my Instagram and TikTok and enjoy and goodbye.